In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up local run so that you can run your Flutterflow apps on local devices and platforms. But what is local run? Well, local run gives you three benefits. First, easier testing on physical devices and emulators. This is so you don't have to download your code every time you wanna test it. Second, unlimited testing time. Normally when you use test mode, you're limited to 30 minutes, but with local run, there's no limit. And better debugging. Local run provides you with complete logs and access Access to Flutter dev tools to give you a much richer debugging experience. All right, so let's set up local run. And we'll do this in two steps. First, you wanna download and install the Flutterflow desktop app. And if you're not using it yet, you really should. Not only do you get access to local run, but the app runs even faster than Flutterflow on the web. Here are the links, and we've got them linked below in the description. Second, set up the platforms you wanna use for local run. Because Flutter compiles binaries to natively run on iOS and Android, Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, you need to follow the installation steps for whichever platform you wanna test on. And the Flutter documentation does a great job of walking you through those steps. So if you're on Mac, you wanna download and install Xcode and CocoaPods. Once you set up the platforms you wanna test on, you're ready, so open up Flutterflow desktop and a project you're working on. So I'm gonna come down here and open my Flutterflow app, and here's the app I wanna work on. Now, if it's your first time setting up local run, you're gonna to wanna to come up here and you'll see this set up local run run. And you can see our local run status is currently inactive. So you want to hit that and it will walk us through this wizard. Now, the first thing we need to do is install Flutter. And you have to do this even if you have Flutter already installed on your system. And that's because local run installs its own copy to make sure it doesn't have any version conflicts. But before you download it, make sure you check that you have Xcode and CocoaPods installed and download. Great. That's installed and we can continue. Next, local run is going to run Flutter Doctor. Flutter Doctor is a helpful built-in Flutter utility that checks your environment for various issues that can come up with your Flutter installation. And you can see all of the issues that it checks in here. Okay, so that's all good and we can continue. Next, Local Run is gonna check to see which devices are available for testing. Currently, I have three here and I'll just select Chrome for our first test. So now you're all ready to test. And if you click test, it'll spin up your app in the selected devices. So down here are all the available devices we have and this is the only one I'm testing on. And of course, you can have multiple if you want. We've also provided quick access to this project folder in your file system and the ability to quickly open this project in Xcode. Now, I'm not going to run this app right now because I want to show you how this user interface looks when you'll use it most of the time. And so you can come up to the top right here and open this up. And you can see the same UI where we have our selected devices here and there are available ones and our test mode. Now, if you need to get back to that configuration, you can come in here and return. But we're good for that configuration. So let's open up here and actually let me remove this right now and launch my iOS simulator because that's what I want to test it on right now. Now that's just launching my simulator, which I've got open right here. So after I do that, I need to refresh my available devices here so that local run can see that it has access to it. And there it is. So let's add that to my testing. Now we're ready to go and let's test it. And you can see here that we've got the options for hot reloading, restarting your app and terminating it. And there it is, there's my app and it works just like I expect. Now, let's go back into Flutterflow here and change our background color. And you can come over here to refresh, but most of the time you'll just use your keyboard shortcut, which is Shift-Command-I. And we're hot reloading our app, and there we go. Beautiful. You also have access to the logs of this project. We can see we've got this open device logs. Here you have access to all of these commands and all of the regular logs you're familiar with in Flutter development. So let's come back to our page right here and change our background color once again to this orange and perform a hot reload. Beautiful. But even better, we have access to Flutter dev tools at this URL right here. So if we open up that URL, we got all of our Flutter dev tools so that you can troubleshoot any layout issues you're having, performance, network calls, or any other issue you're having in your app. And of course, you can test on native devices all at the same time. So I've plugged in my iPhone so we can come back up here and stop this app right here, refresh devices, and let's add both a physical and a virtual device and test on each of these and beautiful and that's how to set up local run on flutterflow desktop